Yes, sir. Welcome to a day in a life of your boy Dante. If you don't know who I am, guess what? Get to know who I am today. Thank you for being here. This is my son. How you doing today, baby boy? Baby boy? Baby boy, my son just touched down. His mom just dropped him off to me. So I got my baby boy. So what I'm thinking is, let me do a little day in the life of a young, black, single male in America, breaking the statistic of not being a good father. Now, if y'all don't know me, if you ain't never heard of your boy before, let me get a little insight about me real quick. For the people who's been watching me, let me tell y'all, y'all know the real, y'all know what's up. Y'all know what's up. Leo, say, say they know what's up. What's up? Yeah, they know what's up. Um, I'm 27 years old, man. I am a young single dad, but when I say I'm a single dad, I don't mean that in a way as if I am raising my son completely on his own. Me and his mom raise him together. I'm just single because me and his son, me and his mother does not we not in a relationship no more. So that's why I say I'm a single dad. You know what I'm saying? But the uh the aspect of me raising my son on my own, that's not the case at all. I got a lot of help from his mom, my mom. You know, it's a beautiful thing. But let me tell y'all, let me give y'all a realistic day of my life. You know, some of the things that you feel me? I don't really show on my channel too often. I do talk a lot about me being a single dad and my journey and everything I'm trying to get to on my channel. And uh, I'm going to just show y'all realistic. No edits, no nothing. We're just going to do a straight through 20, 30 minute vlog. Whatever happens in the next 20, 30 minutes, y'all just going to see. Because I want y'all to, it's, it's realistic for a reason. You heard me? No edits. But um, my son just got here. I'm making my son. Right now, I'm about to make my baby boy some... uh some pizza rolls he want pizza rolls now normally my son eats uh nuggets where i put the nuggets at nuggets right here normally my baby eat chicken nuggets but he said daddy i don't want chicken nuggets today so he said he wanted pizza rolls i'm gonna make my big boy some pizza rolls um his mom went to go get her hair braided so she's gonna be gone for a few hours but when she uh done getting her hair braided she's gonna come back and pick them up uh, because I got to go out today and do a little bit of Instacart to make a little extra money. You know, Instacart is like my side gig right now. Now, I do work a job. I am a delivery driver uh, for this company that I work for. Uh, it's for Amazon. I mean, it's <laughs> I mean, what other delivery jobs are there nowadays that pay really well? I, I deliver for Amazon, so I do that on top of YouTube, on top of Instacart. You know, that's how I take care of me and my son right now. But, um... Yeah, you feel me? Y'all y'all see, this is the apartment. You know what I'm saying? This is where me and my son lives. Uh, we've been here for two years. And uh, it's a really nice place. I ain't gonna lie. And uh, being a father, y'all, let me tell y'all real quick. Let me, hold on, let me tell y'all. Being a father is, is, is by far the best thing that ever happened to me. Now, <laughs> let me tell y'all something. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't never mentioned this on my channel. Now, my son was not planned, right? I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I wasn't being careful when me and my son's mom were, you know, doing adult things. I wasn't being careful. She told me, Dante, be careful. I wasn't careful. You feel me? <laughs> you feel me? I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, fast forward our son here now. And it's the best thing that ever happened to the both of us. Like, our son is our lifeline. Ain't that right, baby boy? How old are you? How old are you? Say, so I'm four years old. My son is four years old. Oh, yes. But yeah, man, being a dad has changed my life in so many ways, y'all. So many ways. And I am very grateful for my son, man. Uh, because my dad was a very important part of my life when I was a kid. My dad was, I was very close to my dad. I was like this. So like my relationship with my son is how I was with my father, right? But my dad... Uh, walked out of my life and my little sister life when I was about eight years old. My little sister was about six, right? Uh, according to my father, right? He said that after him and my mom broke up, that's when he decided to pretty much go his own way. He said our relationship just wasn't working out, so I couldn't be there. Now, that was not right of him, and I still, you feel me, I'm still hurt about that because my dad doesn't even realize to this day how much he has affected my life and uh how the course of my life changed being raised by my mom on my own and i really needed him even to this day my dad still doesn't really 
uh, care to even talk to me, reach out to me. But it's okay. You know why? Because I became a man on my own. I'm very grateful that I have my mom. My mom is a very strong, beautiful woman who has raised me into the man that I am today. And so once I become successful in life, of course, I'm going to make sure I take care of my mom and, and, and give her everything. Uh, that she has given me plus 10 times more. I love my mom. She's my heart. She's my driving force. And my son lo and my mom loves my son just as much as I do. So we got a lot of support from my mom, which we are both very grateful for. Say, I love you, G-Ma. I love you, <laughs> My son, I ain't gonna lie. Other than me and his mom, my mama is probably the, the one other person my son will like absolutely loves in his life. I ain't gonna lie. But um, yeah, I'm, I didn't let that that break me. You feel me? I still became a man, uh, and I and I'm a I'm a I'm a better dad than my dad was. You know what I'm saying? I don't have any hatred towards my dad. It's just more so disappointment, hurt. You feel me? And it was just a traumatic experience seeing my father walk on my life like that because I was close to him and I needed him and he wasn't there and he still isn't there. But it's okay. It's life. We move on, and I just become a better version of of what he was when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be a better man than him and I will never leave my son. So I wanna show y'all that I will never be a part of that statistic. You know, I know there's a lot of young black fathers, even just black fathers in, in general. It's a lot of good fathers out there, you know, but it's just such a common thing for, for you know, for fathers specifically in our community to not be there for their kids. So I love that I'm able to break that statistic. I love that I'm able to, you know, show that I'm a really good dad. So I hope my content can inspire people in that aspect. Um, I've shown a lot of my life on my content, y'all. Some of the deep parts of my life. I showed a lot, a lot. <laughs> and uh, one thing that nobody can ever take away from me is that I'm a really good father. Always have been the whole entire four years. My son has been alive and I will always be there until forever you know so let me show y'all my son room real quick oh wait wait hold on let me get my son pancakes i said pancakes let me get my son peach rolls in the microwave real quick um oh no 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 we don't need the whole thing not the whole thing not the whole thing he need just about that many we'd be good pop these bad boys in the microwave for about two minutes make sure they spread it out so they all get cooked evenly through boom uh, two minutes. Hold on, I'm gonna set y'all up just for a minute so I can clean up these pizza rolls. Hold on, just for a second real quick. But, um, a quick little update on my life or a quick overview of my life. Uh, I'm a very peaceful person, y'all. Very peaceful. Um, I, I really stay to myself. Um, I don't really have too many people I'm associated with on a regular basis in my life because I'm just an overthinker in life, y'all. I, I just... I just like to do my own thing. Like my whole purpose in my life right now is just to continue to elevate my life and secure me and my son's future. That's a big reason why I make content on this platform. So uh, yeah, um, that's my driving force every day. That's what keeps me motivated is just trying to give me and my son a good life because I really don't come from much. You heard me? You know, my mom did everything she could to give me and my other siblings a good life. I have four other siblings on my mom's side. I have a younger sister, I have an older sister, and I have an older brother, which me and my oldest brother, me and my older brother on my mom's side has the exact same birthday, which is crazy, March 1st, which is wild. My mom went into labor <laughs> while she was passing out pancakes at my little brother, I mean, at my big brother's, uh, you know, at school when he was when he was a kid. She went in labor with me, so we was born on the same day, which is kind of crazy. Seven years apart, we got the same birthday. My blood brother. Which is crazy, but um, yeah, my mom has done everything she could for me. I've never really went without having the things that I absolutely needed in life. My mom literally broke her back for years working as a school bus driver to provide for me and my four other siblings. And my mom even took on the responsibility of helping with my dad's kids as well. You know, all of my, I have like six other siblings on my dad's side that my mom also played an important role in their lives as well. Like, I'm talking about to the point where they lived with my mom, you feel me, during our childhood. So, my mom is a really, nothing short of a angel on earth. My mom has a good heart. My mom is, is definitely somebody I look up to because my mom is a, uh, 
I, how can I explain it, man? My mom is a real life superwoman, man. Like, I'm inspired by the way my mom cares for people, man. Like, I care for people, but my mom is so friendly. I'm trying to learn that aspect, man. I, I'm trying to be friendly and just love people like my mom does, man. My mom is a friendly person. Like, I'm a, I, I'm an introvert, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I stay to myself. But uh, yeah, my mom is a beautiful woman and, I, and I'm grateful that I still have her in my life. And I'm grateful that I still have both of my parents alive today. I would never take that for granted, but my dad is absent out of my life. But I guess I can appreciate that he's still here and I will always be grateful for my mom forever. Uh, but yeah, let me show y'all a little bit of my apartment. Um, it's my living room. Hold on, let me get it right, man. I'm, 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 hold on, not my living room, that's my hallway. This is my living room. Now, if y'all don't know, I do live in a uh, low-income apartment. Um, yeah, because <laughs> let me give y'all a little update on my life real quick. Y'all don't know me. Um, I've always had a hard time holding down a stable job. And, uh, you know, I, my mom actually suggested that I move into low-income until I really figured out what I wanted to do in my life just so I don't have to struggle. You know, I've mentioned my experience living in low-income housing uh, so many times on my channel, but I never ever talked about that. It was something that my mom actually told me to do, uh, which was a smart choice. My mom never tells me anything wrong. My mom knows that, you feel me, I'm, I'm driven and I just want to be self-employed in life. But my mom just, Dante, think about it. You know, I was going to move into market rate, but my mom was just like, Dante, just do the low income for right now until you get to where you want to be. So uh, my goal is to move out of low income by the end of this year if I am in a financial place to do so. If not, I'm going to just stay here until I do get to a point to where, you feel me, I'm stable enough because one thing I don't want to do is struggle in life. I don't want to ever live check to check um, because life is hard out here for a lot of people, you know, and so I would never take this for granted. And so this is a good stepping stone for me in my life. And uh, yeah, I've been in low income for about four years. I lived here for two years. My last low income was I lived there for three years. And so, um, yeah, I'm definitely trying to I'm still build. I'm still trying to get my life together after five years. Crazy, I know, but I'm getting there. So, <laughs> don't judge me. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, grateful for this home. It's a really nice, it's a really nice place, y'all. Let me show y'all my son's room. Hey, baby boy. Hey, baby. Daddy making some pizza rolls. Y'all can see my son has all the toys that he could ever want in life. Hello, Ninja. You watching Hello, Ninja? This is favorite show, Hello Ninja on Netflix. Uh, yeah, my son loves his room. You know, he got all the toys he could ever want. And uh, yeah, you feel me? Um, this is my room. Let me show you. Let me open up the blinds, give y'all a little, uh, little light in here. Um, this is my room, my king size bed. I love this bed, most comfortable bed I ever slept on in my life. Um, this is my room, feel me? Got 50 inch TV in here. Feel me? This is my space at nighttime. Now, my son does sleep with me um, because I don't like for my son to sleep by himself. I do live on the third floor of my apartment complex. Uh, fun little fact, when I first moved to this complex, uh, I was I was like the first one in this building. And uh, I had the choice between the first, second, or third floor. And I chose the third floor because I just feel safer on the third floor. I don't know. I overthink in life, y'all. Like, I overthink everything. I think it's just safer to be on the third floor. I don't know why, but I just do. You feel me? Like, ain't nobody getting to a window on the third floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Um, this is my closet. Let me tell y'all something, bro. I just, I just did a whole little cleanse. As y'all can see, I don't really have much clothes. Uh, I have about two loads of laundry at my mom's house right now. That, uh, because I go to my mom's house and do my laundry, so that's where majority of my clothes are right now. But I did throw away a lot of my clothes because they just a bunch of winter clothes. You know, I need to go shopping for summer clothes, but I haven't had the time to go shopping yet. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really picky on clothes. I really don't care about having a bunch of clothes or a big, you feel me? Um, yeah, so that's my closet and all that. I'm just, I'm really simple. My baby's just patiently waiting for his food. I'm about to get it. This is my bathroom. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Very simple. That's me. You feel me? Yes, me. Don't worry, my mirror is not dirty. This is this is paint from when I first moved here. You feel me? My mirror ain't dirty. They just when it was painting, they got paint on the mirror. So don't don't come for me. You heard me? Don't come for me. I'm a very clean guy. Very clean guy. Um, in my hallway closet, real quick. Feel me? Got all the essentials. 
it's not much, but <laughs> you feel me? It's a little something, something, a little something, something. Just to, you know, I need to do some shopping anyway. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Let me show y'all my, my shoes. I don't really show this much stuff on my, uh, normally. I've been open about my life and I don't really show too much of it. You know, these are my shoes, which I also just kind of threw away uh, a lot of my shoes recently that just been sitting in here. A lot of these shoes are over two years old, y'all. I keep up with my shoes very well. Uh, and Timberland is actually my favorite shoe. You know, these ones I got on now is Timberlands as well. You know, I love Timberland because they high quality shoes. What I got in here, this is my, you know, vacuum broom closet. I need to get a mop. I ain't got no mop. Uh, but yeah, I keep everything clean, y'all, very clean. Uh, and life is just very easy with my son, man. It's not as stressful as I thought it was going to be. Uh, but I will say this, though. One thing I will say, we still recording? Okay, we still recording. We 15 minutes in? Okay, we going, we, we good. We 15 minutes in. I've been trying to, you feel me, keep the momentum going for this 15 minutes. I mean, for this whole time we vlogging. So, uh, just keep watching. I got more stuff to talk to y'all about. Um... Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, when my son was first born, right, in 2020, which is, by the way, my son was born literally three months before the world shut down from COVID, right? Oh, sorry, baby. Right? So, it was a little bit easier for me and his mom to really raise him as a newborn because it was like, we didn't, we was, we was already stuck in the house anyways. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, at that time, we were, we were like collecting unemployment benefits, you know? So it was like, we had a lot of time to, to just stay home and raise our son for like six months, right? Six, seven months actually. And uh, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. Him being born around that time kind of made the newborn stage so easy because we was at home anyways. You feel me? When you have to worry about finding a babysitter and all of that. So I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it's very unfortunate COVID happened, you know what I'm saying? But you feel me? It, I ain't gonna lie, it made life a little easier. You feel me? Since we was at home. But uh, yeah, the newborn stage was a beautiful experience, y'all. Beautiful experience. Because it was me and his mom's first kid, right? And <laughs> I don't want no more kids, by the way. But it was me and his mom's first kid. And uh, everything about the newborn stage was, was beautiful. Everything about the pregnancy was beautiful. Like everything leading up to our son being born, it was just beautiful, man, to just see a woman, a beautiful black woman carrying my baby i was there every step of the way y'all i didn't miss one appointment i didn't miss one checkup i did not miss his birth no wait wait i ain't gonna lie i was asleep in the lobby when my son actually you know was coming out uh my son's mom mom came and woke me up like i'll take the baby here the baby here now let me tell y'all why i wasn't in the room real quick i wasn't in the room because my my son's mom was in so much pain Right, and I, I I couldn't mentally just sit there and watch her be in so much pain. So I sat in the lobby and I let her mom and her best friend be by her side. So I didn't actually see my son come out, but that was by choice because she was in a lot of pain. I, I it was just it, it did something to me. I couldn't see her like that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to see her like that. But uh, I was there as soon as he came out. I was right in the room. I, I was asleep though, so his mom woke me up. I, I couldn't even <laughs> you feel me. I woke straight up. His mom came in like Dante, the baby here, the baby here. I woke up from the lobby, went straight in the. You feel me? And I saw my baby boy right there. His mom and him was crying. It was just, it was such a beautiful moment, y'all. It was such a beautiful moment. Uh, but I was there every step of the way. I just, I wasn't in the room because by choice. I didn't want to see my, my son's mom in that type of pain. It was a hard thing to see. Uh, but if people, if you a man, right, and you got kids and you can actually sit there and you saw your son actually come out, I salute you, bro. That's a hard thing to see. I ain't gonna, I couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. But uh, yeah, I was there every step of the way. And um, yeah, the newborn stage was a beautiful part, right? Let me get my son some juice real quick. The newborn stage was a beautiful part. And uh, but I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I prefer the the toddler stage. You feel me? It's just it gets easier as your kids get older, right? It gets a lot easier. Hold on, make sure we get, get some good angles right here. The angles, hold on, we good? All right. Yeah, it was a lot easier. It gets a lot easier as your kid gets older. Like the newborn stage was beautiful, you know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I wouldn't want to, <laughs> I wouldn't want to go through that again. It was, it was very stressful. You feel me? It was easy, but it was stressful. You know what I'm saying? And even now, being when my son is very independent, he's a really good kid, and so it's just like it's, it'd be easy. You feel me? My son, not really a super, you know, like crybaby. He ain't in this terrible twos or threes or fours. 
it's very easier as they get older so i love this stage and i'm even i'm more excited for him to get even older you know what i'm saying so he can become even more independent and i can see more of what he's going to be interested in so it's just having your first kid is just a very exciting life experience man and, and uh i just can't imagine going through all this again so if you got multiple kids i salute you because oh my goodness i cannot imagine doing everything i do now for my son for a whole nother human life that's just that's a lot you feel me being a dad it's easy but this is very busy you know what i'm saying but it's a an experience that i wouldn't change for the world hold on ah, here you go baby <clears throat> you want some chips on the side Make sure you don't drink all that juice, okay? Make sure you eat your food. Good job. I'm telling y'all, man, my son would sit there and drink all of his juice and not eat. Yeah, I'm talking about you, baby boy. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I love you. It's not hot, is it? It's not hot? Okay. But, um, yeah, y'all, um, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all, like, that's why I don't, I would never understand why my dad left me. Because it's like, why, like, it's beautiful, bruh. Like, this experience in life is just so beautiful. So I'm like, when my dad walked out my life, I'm like, bro, like, I just, I couldn't imagine, um, I couldn't imagine just leaving my son like my dad left me. I'm gonna light my candles and get some peaceful vibes up in here. Couldn't imagine leaving my son like my dad left me. It's just like, you know how how much of a, you know what I'm saying? Like, I couldn't even fathom the thought of just walking out my son's life. You feel me? And my son was older than me. You feel me? So my dad had an even, probably even stronger bond because he's seen four more years of my life than I currently have with my son. So I was actually aware that my dad left me. Right, I knew that my dad was absent. I remember crying, asking my dad, why wouldn't he come get me? Why can't I go with you? You know what I'm saying? So like, I couldn't even imagine, bro. My dad just, he just had to just not care. That's crazy to me, y'all, it's crazy. So uh, that's why I'm a really good father, you feel me? But I mean, my experience with my own father, right? It, it doesn't really matter make me the father I am today because whether my dad was in my life or not, I would still be a good father to my son, but it gives me an extra sense of appreciation for, for my son. It, it makes me realize like, I, I need to make sure my son knows that I'm gonna always be there. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever want my son to feel what I felt when my dad left me. You know what I'm saying? That's not a, you feel me? That was very hurtful, y'all. A very hurtful thing to go through. And, um, yeah, so my dad played a very important role in why I am the man I am today, why I am so emotional, why I am so sensitive, um, you know, and those are things that I don't care to admit. It's life. I'm human. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I do think about what life would have been like if my dad would have stayed. You feel me? Maybe things would have been different. I don't know. But at the end of the day, life is life. I just continue to move on with life with the rate that I'm going now, and I'm doing a really good job. I'm doing an amazing job right now, and I'm proud of myself, you feel me? I'm not out in the streets, I'm not out getting in trouble, you feel me? I don't drink, I don't smoke, I didn't never pick it up, I never picked up bad habits. Uh, all I do is take care of my son, and I've gotten into doing content five years ago, and so I just stuck to this in hopes of this, you know, playing a, a role in changing my life one day, you feel me? Uh, financially, uh, inspirationally, uh, like it's so many reasons why I do this. One of the main reasons being, obviously, I'm trying to make this a full time living. You feel me? I'm trying to make this a reliable source of income, but also I like showing up for people and I like documenting my life so my son can watch these videos one day and be like, My dad is an amazing dad, and he always has been. And I want my son to see that I've done everything I could to, to, to be to create the best life I can for him. That's important. So that's why I love this platform. That's why I love documenting my life. I'm not the most perfect guy in the world. I've shown a lot of my flaws, a lot of things that I probably shouldn't have shown on YouTube, but I show you all these things to let y'all know that I'm human. I'm not perfect. And I'm okay with, uh, with whatever, however anybody feels about me because when I look down deep in my heart, when I look at myself as a human being, even though I have shown a lot and I have not made all the smartest decisions in life, right? Because I'm human, of course. One thing you cannot say about me is that I'm a bad person. You can't say I'm a bad human being. 
I don't do anything to anybody. I don't bother anybody. I focus on my life. I make my content. And I'm just trying to give me and my son a good life. I don't see how anybody can judge me for that. Uh, and for the people who, who try to find reasons uh, to, to judge me, which is why, you know, my comments are deactivated, if y'all haven't noticed. Um, because so many people just judge me for no reason. And I got tired of it. And because nobody has a reason to judge me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a father, bro. But that's just the reality of the internet. That's something I had to learn. So, um, yeah, I'm done, you know, letting people give their opinions on my life. Um, and so, I'm just, I just want to focus on my content right now, y'all. So, uh, yeah. I mean, eventually, one day, I will turn back on my comments. Uh, you feel me? I know y'all probably don't care about the comments. And that's something I even learned, too. Uh that uh you know the comments doesn't really matter you know when i started to learn uh how other people view me i learned that like <laughs> hold on come here let me give y'all a little okay i'm a content creator and you know i've been on this for five years so i talk a lot about youtube y'all so it's a very uh important part of my life so i talk a lot about my youtube journey um so just hear me out on this part real quick just give y'all a little insight on a content creator doing this for a living or, you know, trying to do this for a living. Hold on, I'm drinking my coffee, hold on. What's up? One thing I've learned being a content creator, y'all, and uh, this has helped me out a lot and, and, and keeping me motivated is that once I started to learn how people see me from their perspective, uh, you will start to realize that mm, all the little things doesn't really matter like what people think and all of that because a lot of time people don't even pay attention to the comments a lot of time people don't care about how many subscribers you got or how many views you got you feel me everybody that i have talked to just as a viewer you know have told me like i just watch things that i'm interested in you feel me you feel me? i don't really care about everything else so once you start to think like that as a content creator uh you'll realize that you know all the things that you think of on your own get out of your own circle as a content creator and look at things from the outside you'll realize that the things that you obsess about as a content creator doesn't really matter as much just think of how other people view your channel everybody got their own lives everybody busy everybody doing their own thing right so nobody's really thinking about you as much as you think they are you know and that's one thing i've actually heard somebody tell me personally somebody had actually told me hold on i'm saying y'all in the sink for a minute Somebody has actually told me before, Dante, please stop, you feel me, getting upset at the negative opinions and comments people are leaving because at the end of the day, we do not care as much as you think we do. We are here to watch your content and you feel me? We are all busy living our own lives. That was something somebody actually told me. And from that day moving forward, I kind of had a different mindset when it came to the com comments and what people had to say. But at the end of the day, the point of me saying all this is to... Uh, help you realize that just live your life man whatever you want to do in life it will always be people that not support you it will always be people who don't like you for whatever reason no matter how good of a person how good of a human being you are it's just the reality of life human nature you feel me so i just hope that i can be a inspirational model in that aspect right like i dealt with a lot of judgment here i've dealt with a lot of judgment even outside of the internet just because of how i am in life i'm a very passionate guy feel me uh so people always say something about you but keep going keep staying strong that's how you elevate in life you feel me you can't let things break you you can't let people break you just keep a, a good uh keep a closed circle around your life keep really good people in your life keep people who want to see you win keep people who you want to see win around your life keep good people surrounded by you because if you surround yourself with people who don't genuinely care about you then you will be you'll be disappointed a lot you'll you'll get a lot of negative energy surrounding you so that's something i've learned in life that's why i'm a very isolated person i have nobody in my life that i talk to on a regular basis besides my mom my son's mom and my son <laughs> you know what i'm saying i mean i talk to my some of my family members pretty often but not like close close it's just me man i don't know i just keep my my circle really closed but um yeah man uh that but that's that's a little bit about me y'all that's a little bit about me we we 29 minutes in okay let me let me let me end this this uh we gonna stop this vlog at 30 minutes uh let me tell y'all this real quick a little bit about me real quick before i go uh what i watch on youtube y'all like i don't watch other content creators 
uh, often I do sometimes just to kind of learn what other people are doing was how other people are growing their channel but outside of that I watch a little bit of ESPN as y'all see just seeing the latest news but ma mainly I watch battle rap and like documentaries in life you feel me so like that's just what I do outside of you feel me you know YouTube and, and I play the game I play Call of Duty that's my favorite thing to do uh, and listen to music. You know, I'm a big fan of listening to my music, clearing my head. Uh, I spend a lot of time by myself uh, when I don't have my son, just getting my mind right, really figuring out life. It's important. Hear me. It's important to spend time to yourself. If you can find an hour a day to be alone and really reflect on life, you will figure a lot of things out. Trust me, it works, it helps. We can all use that time. We all busy with life, right? And so we have to, we have to, we have to have time to, to really appreciate this one gift of life that we got and to figure out a way to make the best of this one life that we got. We shouldn't be stressed in life. We shouldn't be worried about bills, 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 or you feel me? We, we, we should all be striving to live a comfortable life, right? And that's just, that's what I'm in pursuit of. I'm in pursuit of happiness. I'm in pursuit of a good life. I'm in pursuit of a secure life, right? So that's my whole purpose of being here and obviously to inspire people and also to, to try to make a living doing something that I genuinely love doing. I love doing this. I love being a, I, I love being a content creator. I've been entertaining since I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, that's just a little bit about me being a father and just a little bit of my life kind of in a nutshell. Uh, but I got uh, hundreds of videos on my channel where y'all can go and see more detailed parts of my life that I've talked about in the past. So go enjoy some of those videos. I am uploading new vlogs every single day. So I appreciate for anybody who's here watching me. Um, I hope I can inspire you. I hope I can give you value to your life. That's something I'm working on, trying to give more value in my content. But yeah, uh, I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna end this vlog right here. I will see y'all tomorrow, every day. I upload every day. So remember Dante London? Remember, I upload every day. So I might have good content that you might want to see in the future. So consider subscribing. And I will see y'all next video. I love y'all so much. Appreciate y'all for watching me. All my OGs who've been watching me for a little minute. Y'all are the base of my channel. Y'all are the foundation. This won't be possible without y'all. So all the new people that's here, I need y'all to, to appreciate my, my most loyal fan base. Because they the ones that keep me going right now. That's how I got in front of you right now. So appreciate my, my loyal fan base. Hopefully you can become one of them. Love y'all, man. I'll see y'all in the video. And uh, yeah, subscribe. Yeah.